Welcome, and follow me in ZZC E-Blade A34, and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this device. Now when you boot it up for the very first time, you should be presented with the screen that you can see on my end, and right here you can select your desired language by clicking on that area, and then finding whatever language you want to use from the list. Now for me it's selected English, so that's what I'm gonna stick with anyway. Next we can select Start. There we go. Um, so, next uh, we have some uh, connect to mobile network. You can do so by inserting your SIM card uh, or you can select skip and connect to Wi-Fi network if you want to. Now, both of these are optional and you don't have to do it. I, on the other hand side, will need to do so because the way I reset this device uh, means that right now it is FRP locked, so I need to connect and then verify the screen lock. New devices don't need to obviously do that. This is just a precaution when someone resets the phone in uh, not the way Android wanted you to. So anyway, bear with me while I connect to some Wi-Fi right here. There we go. Now, like I said, you could typically skip it by clicking somewhere around here uh, to skip this. And on the next page, you would most likely, if you chose to skip both uh, network connections, you'd have date and time uh, pop up so you can set it up uh, as it wouldn't be set automatically or correctly probably. Also, you wouldn't have the option to log into Google account and uh, restore apps and data from an online backup. Now, if you chose to connect to uh, Wi-Fi or insert a SIM card uh, that has actually like mobile connectivity, you will have um, a page that will show up off two pages after what we're seeing right here. So I'm gonna you know, disclose when what you would see next once I actually have it open. Now, give it a moment. This device needs to now connect to Google uh, so it finds out that it has a pattern set. Like, it can't do that because without connecting to Google for some reason, because, you know, Google needs all, their, all the data that it possibly can gather, so send it all. Okay, so you would see this <clears throat> on this page right over here, uh, copy apps and data. Uh, you can choose to not copy. This would allow you to set up the device as new. And next you would have the Google login page. Now, before I do see that myself, I need to do this, which verifies that I'm the legitimate user of this device after the reset. <clears throat> and here will be my there we go, sign in page for the Google. So this is the same thing that you would see on your end after connecting to network. So I'm gonna choose a skip right over here. Next, we'll have some Google services like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. <clears throat> and you can turn all of those off if you want to, but it's Google, so we're gonna gather the data one way or another. And that means with or without your permission. Uh, next, we can just select accept. I'm gonna ignore this as, let's be honest, any toggle from Google, I don't really trust it to do anything. Uh, so here we have uh, choose your search engine. So when we press next, you can find whichever engine you want to use. Uh, I personally uh, don't really care for any of those, as majority of them are pretty bad anyway. Uh, I'm gonna select Bing because screw Google. And this allows me to select a screen lock on my device. It automatically opts into a uh, four digit pin, but I can click right here, screen lock options to change it to something like pattern or password, or I can just skip this, which means that I won't be protecting my device at all. I don't recommend this, though this is what I will be utilizing. Next, we have welcome to daily wallpapers. This is completely up to you if you want to utilize that or not. Uh, it basically cycles through uh, wallpapers uh, every single day, uh, whatever they have picked. It's not like you have control over that, so I personally don't like this myself. I like to just set up my own wallpaper, but if you want to have kind of like hands-free approach, whatever wallpaper will, will be for that day, that's great. Uh, then you can just select accept, but like I said, I don't like that. Next, we have privacy policy, so we're just going to select more and agree. You can obviously read what you're agreeing to. Then we have parental controls, I guess agree. Uh, system navigation, virtual navigation, which means button nav or gestures. I prefer gestures and then select all set which i believe takes us to the home screen
Okay, fine, I guess I will continue. And no, I don't want any of these apps. Obviously, if you want some of those, you can install them. Here we go, cancel. And you can see that we are now on our home screen with the device fully set. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.